with this treasure I summon. Eight-handled sword, divergent sila, divine general, Mahara. Here we go, everybody. It's a boy moist mercenary, and as you could see before us, we have the big bad man himself, Maharaga, in Beyblade form. I'm very excited for this video. This bay came out great, modeled by the boy Junigatsu. You can see we've got these feathered patterns around here as like the four wings on his head you got that big nice smile hard to see on camera it's a lot better in person also the printing service i got was a pretty cheap one this wheel costed me eight bucks i'm sure if i paid like more to get like a higher quality printing service i could have gotten the detail out of it but hey eight bucks for this wheel like it's about 10 15 dollars all around for the whole thing it was pretty good so yeah as you can see here it is one giant specialized beyblade except for the metal wheel which you can use with other parts uh make combos with that if you get this bay well if you can get this bay i have to ask Junie myself if i'm allowed to put out the files for it but yeah um you can see here you twist the halo and the tip changes it has three modes that fully extended this more lower but still sharp and then a flat sharp right here at the end the flat sharp mode is probably my favorite if you're wondering how to launch this bay by the way uh it's pretty simple you just wrap a string around this disc at the bottom and then you flick like a bay goma and try to launch it like that i'm gonna try that for like a couple battles maybe one or two battles throughout the video but uh i don't know it's gonna be one hell to try and record it because i'll have to keep twirling the string around the disc and two, it would be hell to record that speeding past all the twirling and all that, so yeah. Let's go ahead and like just look at the wheel on its own real quick, give it a quick weight test, and see the battles we're going to be doing this video. So guys, as we see here, this is the Maharaga wheel right here. So let's go ahead and drop that on the scale. That is 48.7 grams, a bit on the heavier side. It is intended to be a bit lighter. However, I got it printed in a heavier steel myself. Um, just because it was the cheaper option. It was about eight bucks for the wheel when in standard pure steel would have been like 50 something bucks or so. Probably a bit less than like 50 bucks, but still it would have been pretty expensive. So you can't blame me too much for that. Anyways, for the battles we're gonna be having here today, I dropped one of the opponents, of course, but we're gonna be trying it against Phantom Orion while I try and painfully uh, hand flick this bay before we switch to a regular combo and try to hand spin it. We're also going to have Big Bang Pegasus, as always. We're going to be having Diablo Nemesis, the heaviest metal fight Beyblade. And we're going to have two custom battles in Reaping Wraith, of course. And we're going to have a uh, Squall Skeela, of course. Actually, I've used Skeela for two videos in a row. I'm going to make something up by the time we get there. But anyways, let's get there. Uh, moving to the battles right now. Ah, a quick shout out to basinbricks.com go ahead and get you can get any of these bays at the top you can get any of these bays right here that i had in the intro sequence go ahead and check them out over at basinbricks.com use code moist for seven percent off they got metal fight they got burst they got x they got plastic gen they got everything you need right over there at basinbricks.com go ahead and check them out legit mid fake whatever you want and uh yeah use code moist so guys, here I've got Maharaga with the string wrapped around it, so I'm going to try it out. Um, maybe I'll do like two or three like tests with this, but I might just do one because it takes a while to wrap the string around and even get like a good launch off with it. So I'll just demonstrate for you real quick. Uh, a longer string is definitely going to be better for this, um, considering how you don't get any gear multiplication or anything when you're doing it like this and also it's very important that your string is going the right way right now i have the string wrapped to go in right spin uh you do it and wrap the string this way around going that way to get a left spin right now i have it this way for right spin so let's go ahead and try it and you can see i didn't flick the hardest there but it still hit pretty hard because of this imbalance shape uh, launching, trying to do this from around a camera is pretty tough, but, you know, it is what it is. Basically, a uh, quick tutorial on how you launch this thing. Right here you see a hole, 
and if I pull in the string here, uh, you kind of just have to stuff the end of the string. At least I find it easier. You don't have to do this, but it helps a lot. It helps a lot. It's just, it is a bit tedious to get this thing spinning, I will admit. But I also don't have the best string. If you have a better string, maybe if you had like a thin fishing line or something, it would be way easier to do this. I'll do a quick cut right here and just get this in the hole. So then once you get this nice and tucked in there, you just kind of twirl up the string around the wheel. Try and get it as tight and snug as possible so you can get the most rotation when you flick the bay. And of course, launch whatever you're battling it against first. Or just battle an opponent and try and see if you can launch properly. So let's try Phantom Orion out here again. What I like to do is just leave a bit of string off the end so I could wrap my finger around it and then Alright. You see it I, I need to use a bit more force to flick it there, but trying to do this around a camera and try not to hit the camera, which is my phone or anything like that. You could definitely do better than I was doing there with this bay. I'm not the best showcase for this type of thing. So I will go ahead and show you guys the other combo I had in mind to test out this uh, metal wheel at least. All right, so I've got the other combo here, but before I put on the clear wheel, I just want to show Juni some appreciation for putting in this detail here. This is the sort of necklace he has around the front of his chest. It's not really a necklace, but just a thing that's on the front of his chest. So. Juni really put in a lot of effort to make this look and feel like a real Maharaga Beyblade and I couldn't appreciate it more. But anyways, it might be dual spin when you have the ability to wrap a string around it, but it only has a right spin clear wheel compatibility of course. So right here I have the uh, eight legged giraffe Maharafa here. And so I'm going to go ahead and use Maharafa for the rest of this video to try and test out its power against these other opponents. Uh, of course, I'm going to be testing it against Phantom Orion again. Let's see if it can actually, you know, get a knockout this time around. And it got a nice little double KO with some funny movement because of a flat ball. Uh, 3 2 one, shoot. I have it on CH120FB to mimic the like height change of the previous wheel or tip oh no phantom getting the win that time not a great show for maharaga let's try getting him some height here and seeing him do some damage like that hopefully if i could get this extended like that nice and out between go shoot and go shoot. Okay, yeah, this is definitely not the staller type. That was a bad launch on my part, but. We could always try again with this battle. Jesus! A massive double KO right there since both of them flying. Maharaga has a bit of a punch, but without a rubber tip, I don't think it's gonna do the best of staying in the stadium. Or maybe it's just Phantom it's up against is pretty tough. And there we go once again with another double KO. Phantom is definitely taking the most damage, but I think Phantom is just so good as well that knocks out Maharaga with it. That wasn't great. It just kind of bounced off Phantom before it could even touch the stadium. And there we go with a nice little knockout from the Raga right there. Let's go ahead and get... Alright, I haven't been keeping score. It's like 2-1 to one in favor of Phantom, I'm pretty sure. Okay, two and go. Shoot. And 
And another nice knockout. Looks like I'm getting the hang of using Maharaga here, which is good. Okay, that was a bit too angled of a launch. Never mind. Alright, pleasant surprise from Maharaga in that one. Uh, handling Phantom Orion pretty well. Alright guys, so going up a bit against... Uh, bleh, Big Bang Pegasus, right. Uh, as I usually do, sort of just the benchmark for when I bring in a bay. And Maharaga countering super well right there. This thing is pretty powerful once you get that egg of launching it and whatnot. Oh. Bit of a terrible launch on Pegasus that time, just kind of lightly tugged <laughs> the string. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Jeez. Pegasus does not stand the chance, it looks like. Let's try one more of these. Not right there. Don't go shoot. Dang, I was hoping there would be like some kind of contact where Pegasus would activate Final Drive and start acting aggressive against Maharaga, but it looks like Pegasus just kind of stayed there. Uh, let's try one more battle between these two. And there we go, Pegasus actually defending against Maharaga that time, or Maharatha, sorry. Oops. Jeez. Alright, so I'm just failing these tilts. Ooh, nice little setup right there. Hit him right into place to get to just swing around and get that knockout. Very cool. Maharaga burning through opponents seems like a very powerful bay right now. Alright guys, here we go against Diablo Nemesis. Let's see how this battle goes. This should hopefully be pretty fun. I'm gonna go ahead and drop Maharaga back down to the 120 height and see how it does here against this big bad, the heaviest metal fight, the heaviest metal fight bay, at least in terms of a stock bay. Three, two, one, go shoot. And we see right there, no difficulty at all, just flung Nemesis right out of the stadium. Oh! Another massive collision, but a double knockout. Listen, Nemesis ain't a joke either when it comes to the aggression and the, uh, just, just the power behind it. But there we go with a pretty easy knockout once again from Maharatha. Three, two, one, go shoot! Go shoot. And another very easy knockout right there. Please don't go shoot. And go shoot. And some pretty good combos. Just swinging around into these powerful attacks. It's so fun to watch it just swerve like that in a way just the way it swings around the stadium is so satisfying to watch all right now we are gonna have maharaga face off against my reaping wraith bay let's see how it does here if if the launcher prongs will fit on the wraith clear wheel please uh all right three two one go shoot and go shoot and not a difficulty at all just knocking it out right away don't go shh. of course gotta have some difficulty launching uh, the this print of the backup wraith I have here is a bit too 
snug on the launcher prongs, so I have to like really squeeze it in there. Be to go shoot to make sure it launches properly. Be to go shoot. Oops. Not gonna relaunch Wraith. Be to go shoot. And a nice double KO. Looks like Wraith transformed during the fight. And we saw it just get that nice counter attack off. Not even the full like power of Wraith either. It didn't even transform all the all the way. D2 one. D2 one go shoot. And go shoot. Ah, uh, a self KO unfortunate. I was hoping after that swing it was gonna like get a counter attack of some kind, but just a self KO here. Let's try that again. D2 one. If my bay connects, they don't go shoot. And go shoot. And another quick one shot from Raga. Unfortunately for myself, Reaping Wraith loses this battle, but what do you expect against a Titan like Maharaga? Anyways, here's the next opponent. We've got Algid Eagle, R145 RS. Just kind of put it together with other parts I had lying around from the Days I used to make these combos. Uh, switched it around from Skila because I felt like I haven't used Algid in a while and I haven't used it a lot either, so I felt like I might as well bring it back, especially against Maharaga. Both of these are imbalanced, so uh, it should be a fun battle to watch. Also, it is on a rubber sharp tip, so that should give it an advantage here in terms of tanking Maharaga. Do you want go shoot? And not quite going to count that one, it, to me, just looked like uh, Maharafa just landed on top of Eagle and they both went flying. D2 and go shoot. And another double KO right there. Seems like these guys are quite evenly matched right now. I feel like if Raga had a rubber tip of his own, he probably would just no diff. Maharaga couldn't even like activate the swing on that with the flat ball. Let's go ahead and give him a quick extension once again to the 145 height to see if that helps against this opponent he's facing now. Um, yeah, we do need to get Maharaga acting a bit more aggressive if we want to see him beat the eagle here. Do you want to shoot? Looks like stalling him out there actually managed to get us the W, but we don't want stalls, we want pure knockouts. Besides, we know that if you don't take out Maharaga in one grand hit, it is just going to adapt to your every move. <laughs> just like that. Not sure whether we should count that one or not, so I'm just not going to. I couldn't tell if it stayed in before it like flew out or anything. I don't think I need to relaunch that. It got deflected anyways. Looks like Eagle might just win this match. I think it just needs one more if it hasn't won already. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. And of course, another just double knockout. Both of these bays can hit quite hard thanks to being imbalanced. So, Jesus. Maharaga deals some serious hits. But the recoil and the defense of Algin makes it pretty hard to get something going here. And just a straight knockout from Algid Eagle right there. Very cool. The Algid wheel, I don't use it a lot, but it is super powerful. Uh, granted, it was on a rubber sharp compared to just regular plastic flat ball. But I feel like if Maharaga was on a rubber flat, it might not have made that much of a difference here, to be honest. I don't know. I would have to try it out. But that's going to be it for this video. That's all the time we have here today. So 
Let me know what you guys thought of this take on Maharaga down in the description below. I personally love it. The whole string thing. I need to get better with it. And maybe I'll come back in the future with a improved video when I get some better string. Maybe something thinner so that I could wrap it around more. And of course longer so that I could wrap it around more. You know? But uh, yeah. Let me, go, let me know what you guys want to see. Maybe I will have a uh, community post sort of challenge video to go along with it. And yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, again, I'll ask Judy if he'll allow the purchasing of these parts uh, in terms of uploading the files and all that. I'll have to ask him. So yeah, see you guys next time.